Chaos. Kosher Radio. Be back once again, folks. Welcome, welcome back. We have something for y'all special today. Yeah, this was actually good because this is here our hometown. Our hometown. Dade County, Miami, like here Fury. Miami's in a league of its own. Yeah, it is. You cannot put us, you cannot attach us to Florida. We are a state within a state. Yeah, it's crazy. Man, this list is long. We can't do everybody on this list. list right here. But before we get into this, let's let people know that, hey, people, for a lot of our listeners who might be of other ethnic races, we love y'all. Yeah. We're going to always love y'all. We support y'all. If you're Jewish, how they here Christian. Here the top search results. Whatever you want to call yourself. But here on the Chaos Culture Radio site, we're unapologetically black. Be. You know what I mean? We, we we do not deviate from that. We actually embrace it. So with that being said, we want to tell you about our hometown and the movers and shakers. Yeah. And these people here, they under 40. Under 40. And getting it busy. Happens. Now mind you people, whoever this podcast get to and you see one of these people, you salute them. Yeah. And you say chaos, culture, oh. radio sent you. You do business with them. You tell them you need to give Chaos Culture Radio a check because they're promoting y'all for free. Yeah. And we ain't asking for nothing. Just enough to get a latte. Yeah, that's all. Probably a cheeseburger from McDonald's. Basically. Know, you know what I mean? You know, we, you know what I'm saying? We, we already got paid by God. Yeah, we did. So we ain't, we ain't thirsty for money. But today our episode is about the most influential people in Miami. Yeah. That 40 under 40. Under 40, bro. Under not, 40. Not even 40. Under 40. Woo. People. So that show you you can do it. You can make it. You can make it. And mind you, a lot of these people I ain't never even heard of. Me either. I was shocked when I seen the name. And, and, and mind you, people, you'll be shocked. And when I tell you the businesses that are attached to these people, you probably done did business with them. You probably didn't know there was them. Or you, you probably didn't know that these people was behind it and there was African American. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the funny thing about this is, um, which I'm a little bit disappointed is, it's a lot more females than brothers on there. Yeah, which is crazy. I, I was looking at the numbers, there's like a lot of women. A lot of women on this. To let you know the women be on their ground, like, brothers, we got to make sure this list top. Maybe you can vote us in the Chaos Culture Radio Boards. That's probably what it is. We can yeah. show them how we really grind out here. We so really, we, we out here just grinding. We are just grinding. So... Let's get started with this list. Yeah. And I'm also, remember, when you give them the name, you got to tell them what they do because, you know, some people are like, okay, what do these people actually do? No, 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 definitely, definitely, definitely. I'll, I'll break it down. I'll you break it down. But this list shocked me, but it was a lot of women. I, I was... It's, 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 it's unbelievable. It's, 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 a, it's a whole lot of women on here. You know what I mean? And this is, um, is this a, is this a testament of, like, who, who who's putting in the work? Pretty much. You know what I mean? I know the man not being housewives. Well, men's wife, I think they call them. No, I, I, and I hope not. Because a man is supposed to be working. Working at the word. So, hopefully. But this is also some good inspiration for the women, too, in Miami. It, it is. The women. Business and stuff like that. That There's all women on this list. That's under for 40. So that's under 40. You. Women, we talking about people who they might name a street after. They're so, not naming street after the city girls. That's facts. You know what I mean? So let me start with the first name on this list. Go ahead. Mr. John Aaron. John Aaron. What yeah. did he do? He's a real estate mogul. Wow. Aaron organization. Wow. You know what I mean? Um, sounds serious. Next name is Tony Barnes. Tony Barnes. From Tony Barnes Production. And people, you can use Google to, to get up on these people. Next name is Philip Matthew Brown Jr., multimedia photographer, editor for WSVN. Yeah, Channel 7. Channel 7. I didn't even know they had brothers up there. Me either. They're doing the editing, too. Editing. Now we need to support our brother. Here's another name. I like this girl named Genevieve Car- Carville Harris. She could be. She could be Haitian. She could be Haitian. She could be married to a, a, a black American guy. It's called Capacity Building Str- Strategies, Free to Live Management Service. So she's in the real estate. Yeah. 
uh, Arisha Clark, LCSW. She's a therapist for Inspire for Purpose. Wow. Yeah, Inspire for Purpose. Hey, brothers, y'all need to hit her up. We have Vicky Coles, chef, nutritionist, entrepreneur, Pro Kitchen Hub, unique culinary group. That's so, kind of good that you're talking about the kitchen, the your kitchen, health, yeah, your health and so, stuff like that. Supporter, Eric D. Coleman Esquire. Wow. Associates, Carton Fields, PA. He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. You know what I mean? People, we telling you this because you need to get your get your mind right and support and, and support these folks. You feel me? I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? And I tell you this: I don't do this for my health. I do this because I love. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Okay, let, let's get to the next name. I think I've seen this guy before. Jordan Craigman, creative director. What's this, what's this dude's name? Hold on. And he said creative director, so that means in, director. In, interview consultant. I, I'm going to Google him. I wonder what he do. Okay, next. Joseph Alec Jr., Highly unique South Florida. Mm. Next. Oh boy, we gotta get this boy a shout out. This is one of our Zoe brothers. Um, Honorable Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Florimore. He's the commissioner of City of North Miami Beach. Put some respect yeah, on that yeah. boy's name. So I said. Put some respect on his name. Know who your commissioner are. It's a Zoe boy there. Eric Foster the second president and founder of Get Get After It Now. Mm. Um, t- um, Talia R. Gray, MBA, City of Miami. She works for the city. Nice. And we have our beloved here, Udonis Haslam, three-time champion, philanthropist, businessman. Udonis Haslam mm. Children's Foundation. Support the brother. Latrice Hill, executive director of. In City Dance Club of Miami. I've seen that before. Oh, you really? Yeah, yeah I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. Brandy's Y. Howard, Net Administrator, Overtown City of Miami, Brand to Brand Marketing Incorporated. No wonder they're doing a revolution in Overtown. They, there's people out there working. They are out there working, but I kind of feel that that place is getting gentrified. Really? Yeah, like chicken. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like. The, the properties are getting out the brother's hands into some people who's going to make it a little bit more expensive to live there. But that will need more brothers into the uh, into power. We do need that, as long as they're not goofies. <laughs> My bad. My bad, I didn't mean to do that. Shout out to another one of our Zoe sisters, our Haitian sisters, a beautiful sister. Shirley Jean, licensed practical nurse. Jesse Trice Community Health Center. Ooh, yeah, that's right around in the hood. Yeah. Shout out to Shirley Jean. 40 under 40, baby. Okay, um, Kevin Jenkins. General Mattis of the Midas Companies. Ooh. That sounds fancy. Yeah, right? that is sound fancy. Um, Derek Jones, United Coin Foundation. Um, Michael Joseph, Commission, City of North Miami Beach. I didn't know they had that many brothers in the city of North Miami Beach. And you live in North Miami. You yeah, know. I live in North Miami. You know, North Miami Beach is right across the way. But we have another one of our sisters, Christine Lusant, Esquire, Associate General Counsel, University Property Casualty Insurance Company. I heard of that company as well. Oh, Jeremy Mathis. He's another one who flip houses. House hogs. I support them boys. Flip. Um. Oh, Joshua A. Mathis. These, yeah, these boys are brothers. Yeah, they're brothers. Yeah, yeah. Freedom Cash Home Buyers. You know what I mean? Um, Herman McLean, CEO, co-founder of How We See It Incorporated. Uh, Marco Millet, film producer. Nice. Florida House, Florida Film House. We need to get in contact with that boy. Nice. Oh, this is a beautiful sister right here. Dominique E. Modi. Administrative Officer, the third, Miami Dade Correction and Rehabilitation. She, she a bad sister. How you gonna say she's beautiful? You know your your women is watching this show. Oh um, I can I can admire other women. I, I can admire she's a black woman, she's beautiful. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's not like I'm trying to marry her. 
But everybody knows who I want to marry. That's for another episode. Yeah. We'll talk about that. And uh, we have one of our African sisters, Rosie Nukowima. I'm not to pronounce her name. Sorry, sister. I'm not trying to. She's the director of Global Strategic Sourcing Technology and Innovative Carnival Corporation. Wow. That's big. That's big. And um, Adrian K. Reynolds. Assistant Professor of Professional Practice, Miami, um, Medical Education University of Miami. Rochelle R. Rankings, Director, Grant Administration, the John S. and John L. Knight Center Foundation. Wow. That's another one. I did not know that. But it's so crazy how like this, um, they, they hear like, powerful titles. They do. But They're not with titles. They're very powerful. But a lot of people in Dade County wouldn't even know about this because some of y'all don't read. Shout out to Reggie Ruby, Lieutenant Broward County Sheriff's Office Fire Rescue. Shout out to Jeff Rocker, LMH ACs, um, How We See It. Alicia Rodriguez, Therapist. Sade's Daughters, Inc. and Sade's Kids. Um, Brittany A. Sharpton, President and CEO of Apex Consultant. I don't even know how to pronounce that right. Um, Brooke Sharpton. Portfolio Officer at Grove Brink and Trust, Janice Smith Alexander, School Counselor, CEO of Rise Incorporated. Nice. Christina Springer, Corpse de Ballet, the Miami City Ballet. Nice. Robert Steffens, Lead Pastor, CEO of the Grace Center Church. Martel Jean, um, Talks. Junior, owner of Blue Lighting Consultant Services. Dr. Tracy Timberlake, founder, Dr. TracyTimberlake.com. David Ward, director, telematics, connected technologies, writer systems. Tina Ward, S, senior manager of strategic pricing and analytics in rural field service. We got the last ones. And these are the power players. Now, um, I wanted to say this girl name first. Because um, I think we need to um, put some respect on this girl name. Mm-hmm. Alexia Rowe. I'm going to tell you why. Dr. Alexia Q. Rowe is a graduate from UFC and NSU. She is the Director of Career and Technical Education at Miami-Dade College. Roe also serves as the president of the executive board of the Legacy 40 Under 40. Wow. Well, all y'all who at Dave, it's a black woman there. Yeah. I'm in Dave, so it's a black woman running the show in Dave. Y'all need to see that sister, support her, tell the Chaos Culture Radio, say we love you, keep up the good work. You know what I mean? Here's another one. Stephen Ellis. By, oh, he's a he's one of our Haitian brothers. I didn't know his last stuff. He's a Haitian um, philanthropist, CEO of E Innovative Health and Digital Health Firm. Another one of our Haitian sisters, Cassandra Sin. I don't know how to pronounce that girl's name. Matter of fact, you get the point because this is starting to get redundant now. Mm-hmm. Support our beloved Dade County forever. Thanks. You know what I mean? Do, um, do you know anybody offhand that you know that gets it in a day? Go ahead and say it again. I said, do you know anybody offhand that gets it in Miami? Um, Not too much, no, not really. I, I probably don't. I need to do more research on Miami. Mm-hmm. But um, not really for me. But the name you gave was some powerful names. I need to do some research on my own. No, no, definitely. On in my own city. No, definitely. I want to give a shout out to the mayor of North Miami and all the constituents there because they're nothing but black Haitians. Oh, no. I get a shout out to Trick Daddy. I just I found, recently found that he opened a new restaurant. I heard and they said it's really good. Oh, yeah. Sunday's Eatery. Oh, yeah. You're sure you heard about it. Yeah. Sunday's Eatery. Yeah, I did hear about it. But um, we can do a review. Yeah. We should. We should go and check it out. Yeah. We can do a review and go buy a plate. And see, um, Sunday's eatery, it's good enough to be at an eatery. Yeah, 
Yeah, good question. You need to go check it out. Yeah, and now that it's a lot of food spot in Miami that I know, like even over here by um, the the, um, the um, by the Urban Noir um, place, there's a food bar House of Flavor. Yeah, I've been to House of Flavor. I ain't never ate there before that. I heard it's really good. They, they starting to pop off. Like I, a Haitian restaurant as well. I, I, oh, now the Haitian restaurant, I've eaten there. Yeah. But I, I don't want to say that. I'm gonna say it anyway. Say it. No more people at House of Flavor are not really friendly. Oh. I said Whoa, it. They're not man. really. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to throw shots in there like that. Yeah, right here. Like I'm not trying shape. to throw shots in there. I don't know if it was a bad day. You know what I mean? Because I see a bunch of um, foreigns outside. I know they getting money. You know what I mean? I heard the food is good, but I just I know they're not really friendly like that. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I know the Haitian restaurant next door is friendly. I know I crave. Um, he's a restaurant that I support, our beloved. You know what I mean? You've been to I crave? No, I haven't been to I crave. I'm saying so many places I haven't gone. I need to check it out because you know I'm trying to watch my weight and stuff. But at no, the same, same time, here. but at the same time, it's good to support black businesses because that's the only way they get noticed. Man, we man, we got to support black everything. You know what I'm saying? And, and not only that, but pretty soon we also gonna be interviewing some black people that oh yeah, black and, businesses, and so. we we are and people. This is um, we're trying to find black entrepreneurs to interview. Doesn't matter where you at. Yes. Dade Broward, um, out of state. We want to interview you because we want to show the excellence of entrepreneurship. You know, I mean, maybe we can work something out. You send us a product, we interview you. Yeah. Talk about the product. Put it out there because all we're trying to do is just push the culture forward. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the only way stuff can grow when we support each other. Oh, only way. Just like we ask y'all to just just share our podcast. Yeah, it's free. Man, you you getting a lot of you getting a lot of tabernacles for nothing. I don't understand when people when you start charging people, they get mad at that man. Yeah, they, they do get mad. You know what I mean? Like, but it's free. I don't even want to charge for this. But sooner or later, when y'all start asking me to do speaking gigs. I'm hitting on y'all in the head for a stack. Ah! <laughs> Every time y'all ask me to come do a speaking gig for a stack. Ah! And I want all of it in ones. I want a brick. A thousand dollars a thousand dollars in one. A brick with the plastic on it. <laughs> and why you ask me? I just need it that way so I can maybe break down the money. Oh, Easily. Easily. <laughs> Man, you're a funny guy. I'm at, yeah, <laughs> they might think I'm going to go to the strip club. I exactly, might, that was the first thing I went to my mind. I might, I might make a stop there, but that doesn't mean <laughs> that doesn't mean I live there. You know what I mean? No, but supporting is free. It don't really charge yeah, support. Man. It's free. You yeah. know what I mean? So, but at the same time, when you, soon you start charging, people start getting upset. You yeah, know what I'm saying? As soon as you ask for donations, people start getting upset. Yeah, and they wonder like, yo. For us to grow to a big entity, we need the support of the people. We can't. We're nothing without you, our fans and all that. We're nothing. Facts. You know what I mean. This is why we say that we need your support for us to to be more relevant. And you know what I mean. Sharing, commenting, um, um, clicking the notification bell, giving it to your friend, letting them download. The link is in the description, man. It's not hard. <laughs> well, they make it seem hard, man. I swear they do, but at the same time, but uh, the people that that's very influential in Miami under forty, it's just amazing to see because they are they are our age. You know what I'm saying? Making things happen for the city. Really, really, and you, you you see the thing about these, and these are people who could potentially be the next mayor, the governor, commissioner. Facts. The the problem is, what's the problem, man? Uh, you know, you know the thing is, we support entertainers too much, especially in Miami. I got no issue with E class. Rick Ross, Khaled, and all that, but they're not the way when we're talking about people who really trying to get it. Not everybody going to drive a Bentley. Facts. You feel me? It's a lot of these guys here who make money and who's doing positive things in the neighborhood. You'll never know their name. That's true. You know what I'm saying? You'll never know their name. And they're really doing something positive for the community and stuff like that. But due to the fact that we don't respect them because they, they're not pop, they don't got a popping on some. That's true. They're not talking about scamming. That's the only thing. That's the only thing I didn't really understand about the love and hip hop in Miami. Like they didn't really focus on the true heart of Miami. That thing was a joke. It was. Shout out to Gunplay though. That's what dog. Gunplay was real. Yeah, he's. 
Really? Was, but Bobby and all the other people, like, they took Miami, like, it was for a joke. And Shout out to Gun Play and Chaotic. Real street, yeah. real street dudes. They are. No security. They out here on the streets every single day. And you actually even talk to them. Say actually, to, yeah. On the, is real. You know, that's real, man. Shout out to them, bro. But, you know, Miami have a lot to offer, but people always look down on Miami. You know what I'm saying? And that's not good because we was born and raised in Miami, so we should be able to high, um, put a high level in our city. You know what I mean? You, you know the issue is with this whole situation, bro? What it is? We've been so stigmatized as a vacation place, as a place to come here and smash chicks and ball out. Because it's not like... like this is not a typical place where you think about, hey, I'm going to get money. Yeah, no. This is like a, a tourist spot, they call it. Yeah, basically. To vibe. But we need to change that because the only way we can change it is by showing people the light of Miami. That there is good in Miami. There's good restaurants, there's good businesses, there's good clothes. You know, we know it's good women, but it's more to life than women. No, you, you, you're 100% right. They are. You know, so, you know, good entertainers. I, I know there's a um, Miami Improv. They just built over there in Doral, where they uh, they hire, like, new up-and-coming actors to, to perform. Like, there's stuff like that they're doing in Miami, but people don't know about it because they're not promoting it. I agree with you, bro. You know, rappers, we, producers. We, 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 got, we got a lot of them, man, but don't be supporting a lot of these guys. What's the reason? What is the reason? Why are you so frustrated about it? Because a lot of them are goofies, man. A lot of them walk around with a chip on their shoulder. Like, you can't even walk up to them and ask for an autograph or even do a song or something. But these are supposed to be these are supposed to be the leaders of our neighborhoods. Facts. Like, I'm not going to support no goofy um, um, music if I know they're I- ignorant. Mm-hmm. Humble yourself, bro. I agree. You know what I mean? Remember, like... Remember who got you where you at, bro. I agree. You know what I'm saying? But then if you start saying that, they say you a hater, you're broke, you live with your mama. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you got smelly socks. <laughs> you always talk about having smelly socks. I'm like, man, your socks not even smelly, man. Bro, like, that sucks is an analogy of the, the, the pain that I went through my life. Uh, <laughs> but like that, but Walter, how can they be one of the people that hit the list of the 40, under 40? They got to be doing something real in- influential, man. Like, you got to be trying to help the community. You got to, like, honestly, do I have this theory? I can't call you a boss if I can't trace who you made money. Hmm. Or you can't show me who you helped became who you helped became a baller. Wow, that's a powerful statement. Yeah, if if I can't trace that, then really like you can't make the list. Mm-hmm. Like, cause a lot of those people on that list I read, I read because I did a little research. They don't got they don't employ people. Wow, you know what I'm saying? These sisters who go out here and degree and they trying to help um, black people. Cause to, to be honest with you, a lot of the positions in, that they're in are centered around the inner cities of Miami. They don't got to do that. That's true. That's true. They don't have to do it at all. No. They could have just went about their life, went to go work in Aventura, got a cushy check. And they would have been all good. Oh, my God. All good ain't the word. Because you know they getting paid more than 100000 a year. Tell me about it. Because they like CEO, commissioners, and stuff like that. But the stuff, the position they in, you could be in that type of position... And we just learn how to be influenced. Yeah, and, and um, it, it 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 is that, and, and to 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 work in that type of situation. But you have to be something. Your intentions have to be good. That's why I say I don't like to talk about rappers. Right. When are we talking about the powerful people in Miami? Because they're not even on the list. I wouldn't even put them on the list. Right. Like a person like Udonis Haslam. He has a right to be on the list because he's putting work. Right. He opened up jobs in the hood. Matter of fact, he has a subway by over 10. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Nice. They have a subway by over 10. So you putting in work for the community? Too much work. 
getting people jobs and too much that. work. Too I'm much saying that's an influence. You got to influence work. your city. That man got too much sauce as well. Right. So like I don't know about a lot of these other goofies, and I mean that respectively when I say goofies, and I don't mean no disrespect behind it. You feel me? But like you got to be something substantial, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to Dottie Joseph, state representative, Florida House representative. She a Haitian. Love you, girl. Shout shout outs to you. Shout outs to Matthew, Matthew um A um Piguet, Mayor City of Opalaka. A lot of you goofies don't know. Shout outs to Reginald Leon, councilman of my Miami, my um Miami Gardens. Another one a solid brother. Solid. You know what I mean? And these names that I'm... I just threw a couple names. There, there'll be streets named after these people. Yeah. Not the city girls who telling you to effing on the scamming ass. Let me yeah, stop. Me. No, but the thing about the city girls, you know, they're not really doing something to actually impact the city. They're actually trying to impact the city. That's the thing. That's yeah. what you're going to be remembered for. Are you going to be remembered to be just being a whore? Ba- basically. around, this and that. You don't want to be remembered like Let me that. tell you something. Dumb, they, they get praised, but a person like Crystal Ragger, Mayor Miami Shores, she'll never get praised. Correct. That's mainly a white city and she's a black woman. Yeah. A true. black woman running a city like that, that that's a hype. Like, she'll never get recognized for that. It's but this, perverse, man. It's opposite. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's weird. Pierre Ruffledge, di- director of school operation of Miami Days County Public Schools. You, these are the names you'll never hear, but you'll hear Rick Ross. Hmm. Little Pump. These are the names that they love, that they cherish. You know what I'm trying to say? I, I'm just I'm just telling you the names of our beloved, man. I beloved it, man. I'm not here to I'm not here to cap or nothing like that. If you a goofy, go go somewhere else, man. Man <laughs> Yeah, it's just beautiful list. It's just to see, you know, it brings sparkles to my eyes. It know? does, it does. It's so many names that we can't name and please. The the black people who doing their thing in Miami, don't think we didn't forget y'all. It's just too many of y'all to speak on. Just know that Chaos Culture Radio loves you. No, even the House of Mac. I don't know if you ever ate that. Oh, my House God. Of, House of Mac started off in Wynwood, like, at the yard. Shout out to that brother. And now he, I think he owns a shop over there in, um, on, at the beach. Yeah, yeah, his, his stuff has his always been official. So, he, shout out to him, you know. Chef Yo, Creole as well. Oh, my God. Hey. He got, like, three, four different locations. Oh, I forgot one thing. I, there is one media person I'm going to mention. I'm going to kill a show like this. Uh-huh. We all know that in the analytic boys can say that. We forgot one person who's from Miami, and he does it in a way that's not goofy. Who is it? Peter Bailey. Hmm. Ooh. The analytic boy, kind of, you know who that is? You know who that is? I'm going to let you look him up. Yeah. I'm going to let you look him up. Peter Bailey. Like cat media. You know who that is? Look at his face. Look at his face. What's his website is? We trying to look at the website on his website. We're going to listen. Yeah, he he has another. Ain't he the hip hop lately guy? Peter Bailey. Yeah. Shout out to Peter Bailey. Night cat meeting. Peter Highlighters, boy, Chaos Culture Radio. Yeah. Highlighters. What do you do anyway? Um, he's a guy that's an interview. He's an interview. He does real good interviews. He speaks very articulate. Okay. And I'm not gonna say he does that for a black guy, because every black guy can speak articulate. Correct. That man's intelligent. He's out here putting in work. He let us know that we're coming up under his yoke. Because we're trying to be a media. Correct. You know what I mean? We want to pay homage to him because I look at him as being the forefathers. No disrespect to the DJs. No disrespect to the DJs. Facts. Our Peter Uncle Al. I'm dropping names now. Shout out to Disco Rick. Facts. 97.7. Mm-hmm. The original. The original. 
um, media guys. You know what I'm talking about, Nightcap Live. Shout out, he, he, he does the interviews. We trying to be better than Peter Bailey. No disrespect to y'all, bro. We come, we come, at, we we want all the smoke. Chaos Coach right. Radio. You got anything to say, Mustang? No, the only thing I got to tell him, man, is that you just got to be out here. You got to know how to influence people and be a, a powerful impact into the world. You are created to impact the world. 100%. And, and then, therefore, we're out. We're out. This is our longest podcast as well. Peace. Man, I just appreciate y'all just listening. Stay tuned for the next episode.